Well, hello, and a good rainy morning to you. Today is Thursday, April 11th, and we only have one birthday. It's Mary Lou Klatik, K-L-A-T-I-K. Mary Lou, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Mary Lou. Happy birthday to you. Cha -cha -cha. Look at these birds playing chicken with me, and they're robins, but they're still playing chicken. They don't want to move. Anyway, we only one birthday, so Mary Lou, I hope you have a great birthday. Um, we're on our way to go see Mary. I have the morning shift today. So we're going to go, because I, I have, we're doing Danny's birthday dinner tonight, so I wanted to get over there real quick, just for a little quick visit. I'll probably stay as long as it takes to get there, like 25, 25, 30 minutes, because I have to uh, get my dinners going. My, not my dinners, but my dinner. I'm making lasagna, so I get my sauce on. And then uh, I'll show you some birthday video. So the video is probably going to go up later than it normally has been going up. I think we'll sing to Gary, too. Tomorrow is Gary's, Mr. Gary, as you know him. Tomorrow is his birthday. We'll do his birthday tomorrow. I probably should turn my lights on. Um... A froggy day, that's for sure. I um, I weighed myself this morning on my scale, and I lost 0 0.2. Not a great loss, but it's a loss. That's all that really matters. So, um, it's it's hard because I'm on such a weird eating schedule now. It's just I have to start planning a little bit better if Mary's going to be here a little bit longer, because uh, I'm eating at all wonky hours, and then I'm. I'm eating more carbs and I and less vegetables. And I always find that if I eat more carbs and less vegetables, I don't tend to lose as well. So I have to get back on track with that. I'm making a salad for dinner, so um, there's going to be some leftover salad. So I'll have the salad tomorrow for my lunch. Fridays aren't that bad for me. I don't know. Tuna fish sandwich, you know, because I choose not to eat meat on Fridays. So when Lent comes, it doesn't really bother me. The only time it bothered me is like, and again, and and I ended up it didn't wasn't that big of a deal. It was because my son got married on Good Friday, and Good Friday definitely, definitely, is an abstinence from meat. But you know what? I found enough to eat. I didn't starve, and I had a good time, and I was enjoying the day, not concentrating on the food and concentrating on the event, which made the day all that much more special. So last night. Um, Mary didn't like what she had for dinner, and Chrissy just happened to be there at dinner time. And then uh, the nurse, the person that brought the food in, she's, she said, "You know, you're not restricted to stay here. You know, if you want to, Chrissy, if you want to take your aunt out for dinner, you can take her out for dinner." She says, "Really?" And Mary says, "Well, I don't really feel like going to a restaurant." She says, "But I really would like a Wendy's cheeseburger." <laughs> so Christy said, "Okay, um, I'll go pick one up," and then. Uh, Mary says, well, maybe I'll go with you. So she says, okay. So she said, is that okay? She says, you just got to sign her out at the desk. Let them know that you're taking her. So Christy went and signed her out. They went to the Wendy drive through And I think that Christ, uh, Mary needs more things like that to remind her that it's not all about staying laying in the bed. But she needs to get up and start taking care of a little bit more things of herself. And just get moving around a little bit more. I always point out, I said, look at that lady, she's 92, that man, he's 97, she broke her hip, he broke his knee, and they're still getting along. She says, yeah, that's true. Watch Survivor last night. The first, uh, I'm not going to ruin it because I know some people tape it and watch it the next day, because there was two eliminations. The first elimination, I really didn't know who was going home. But the second elimination... I really had a good, Jim and I both picked it. We both picked the right person that went home. And then uh, we watched Amazing Race. Uh, we have a feeling that the couple that's coming in first place all the time is going to end up winning the whole race. Because sometimes when you have that advantage of always being first or being in the top pack, you're the ones that have the way better shot of making it first in the end, unless you really screw up badly somewhere along the line. But you got to really screw up badly when you're so high up in the on the pack there. But and I, I don't particularly 
care for them. They're just, I don't know, in my opinion, a little arrogant. I just, uh, I don't know, it's just, all right, buddy, you think you're turning left there? <laughs> I always look at these people like, dreamers, dream. It's like, especially in this weather. We don't have enough traffic lights in this particular area to control the flow of traffic that makes it a little easier to turn left out of establishments. The McDonald's over here is a prime example. There's at least one major accident a month there that people, they shouldn't let them turn left out of the McDonald's, but then really there's no way to go if that's the way you're coming from that other way. Kind of screwy. But anyway, you know, I'm not really chitty chatty today, but I'll be showing you my family later on. So um, with that being said, I think I'm just going to end it right now rather than just blah, blah, blah about nothing because that's really where we're headed at this point. So um, I'll check in in a little bit. How's that sound? And here they come. Faster than a speeding bullet. There's, there's the birthday boy over there. There's the niece. And there's Jimmy, the back of Denise's head, actually. Oh, it's pretty. The birthday boy. <laughs> Sophia. <laughs> Barry's in there. Everybody else is coming. As soon as they get in here, we will say grace. Oh, get okay. Okay, we know she's getting better because she never shuts up. That's right. She yak, 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 yaks all the time. <laughs> But she can hardly hear me. We can hear you, you fine. She's doing well, aren't you? I'm doing a hell of a lot better. Yes, she is. The first day I thought, why not just give up? But I said I have too much to look for, so. Okay, remember. What's no the, crying. No crying in baseball. There's no crying in not baseball. not allowed. This is, we want to finish this I one first. I was so emotional <coughs> for like here, three or four in. days. You just, I would just look for at the kids. Start I know, crying. that's why I put it on this end. It was terrible. Okay, say goodbye. Sandy, can you? Say goodbye. No, goodbye. <laughs> Thanks for all your prayers and thoughts. Well, we don't turn the lights off. The candles won't light. <laughs> all right, let's get the show on the road. Don't make <laughs> happy birthday to you. you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Daniel. Happy birthday to you. Cha cha cha. Okay, and now tomorrow is Mr. Gary's birthday. Are we gonna get those? We're not gonna let those. It won't be fair to Daniel. No. Okay, now we're gonna sing to Dad, Mr. Gary. Okay. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Mr. Gary. Happy birthday to you.